Dominic Durniat, Grappler Info, and I'm here with Alan Finfo just after a seminar in uh, in Poznan with Adam Wardziński and uh, I think almost 100 people. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, when every time I'm here in Poznan, you know, I, I get this energy, you know, that the guys really love my work, you know, and every time I come, it's always more and more people have been here already for like nearly five years having seminar here with Adam and uh, the numbers always increase of people that comes and you know that keep me really motivated and I take this as a bless because for me like I say to everybody I live a dream life you know when I decided to live it by doing jiu-jitsu I never search for one day become a millionaire but I always search for my happiness and this keep me really happy you know to know that people from all over the world you know, like my way of working, my, my concept that I apply when it comes to Jiu-Jitsu. You know, today we have guys from Germany, every many kind of city, different cities in, in, from Poland, uh, guys from Russia, Brazil, people that train in England, guys from Greece, everybody here sharing the mat. We have a great time, you know, and with the only uncommon thing that we all do, Jiu-Jitsu. And what was the subject, the topic of today's lesson? Yeah, today I tried to, to explain to everybody, you know, how we play the open guard, you know, the attacks, the setups, you know, the concept, and uh, try to be a step ahead when you think on which kind of posture your opponent have, so what's the kind of weapon he's going to use and what you have to deal against. So that keep yourself more sharp and fast to, to make your controls and from there build up the confidence, understand and be able to apply the attacks against everyone. And what can you say about the guys you, you, uh, you saw today, about his le their level? You know, today we have people here from every kind of level, you know, from white to black belt, black belts even with the stripes on the belt. You know, we all could use the same kind of techniques, you know, because like the attacks that I show was just options of things that they can do after they set up the controls that we've been working here today. But everyone have their own way. The main thing was to understand it, how the concept work, how the whole situation work, make yourself comfortable and find your best way to make things happen from there. And then the white belt can find the way that fit them, the blue belts, the purple belt, the brown and black belts. So this was the most important thing. You are traveling all, all around the world with your seminars. So what can you say, how you can compare the Polish seminar, the seminars in Poland to the seminars in the other countries? For example, there's uh, so much attendance in the other countries that are in Poland or it's pretty the same? You know, Poland for me today, it's one of the places that I consider home. You know, I have guys here that work with me for long and we build up a friendship, a relationship, a trust in, on each other, you know, and once I came here to do my training camp for Europeans 2015, no, sorry, 2016, I, I, I was here training with the guys uh, the, we were on the camp that Piotr Baginski uh, organized it, and I felt amazing, you know, and uh, the way, the way that people train and, and be on my seminars in Poland compared with the rest of the world is that I see the focus of the guys, you know. We, you could see today where you have a full house with like 100 people and still, you know, every time I was explaining a technique, everybody was quiet, listening, coming up with the questions. You know, they was like, we was here for nearly four hours and time just fly because mm -hmm. we all was very into the everything that we we've been seeing and this is the thing that make the biggest difference you know you can see that the level of the tournaments in Poland and the competitors is getting higher and I believe that once I said and I say again and Poland is one of the biggest power of, in jiu-jitsu in, in Europe when you have been here last time you promoted uh, Adam to the black belt you said then that that now is his time to to show the world what the talent and what the diamond diamond he is. Uh, it was a few few months ago, and he already competed in a few few tournaments. Won a lot. Sometimes he did he, he doesn't won. But what can you say about Adam as a black belt on the tournaments about his game now? 
No, Adam, he just proved that he belongs there. You know, in, there is no black belt competitor, high level, that never lost. So the losing and the, the victory is going to always be side to side every time you step in the mat. You know, the level is too high, but he has been accomplished more victories than lost. And of course, we always want to search for improvement. We're still building up his game for the upcoming things. Next week, we are going to Rome. You know, he has some good names there that I really want to see him fight against. And the main focus is Abu Dhabi and the World Championship. That is exactly the place that everything should be on time. And the way I see, I see that he's going to be there ready and prepared to perform with the best shape, you know, the best mind, the, might, the best games playing, the, the best of Aden going to be seen in USA in the World Championship. And uh, he already proved that the black belt level for him, it's exactly where he belongs. He still has a lot, a lot to learn and improve on his game and there. But the most important part is the, fir uh, the, most, the most important step is the first one. And he already did this, the, the first step and he already fit into the division. He already qualified for the words. He already made his point by winning all the other tournaments. And now it's just growing, growing, up, getting better and better. And I say it's his time to shine. Do you think that he can be some kind of breakthrough of 2016 in the world, in the Black Bulls divisions? Absolutely. You know, I believe in him. You know, I work with him. And uh, I always make, make sure that he, he do everything that he's supposed to do, that he can make a difference, that he can reach before he step in the mat.